to the vlog. It is 9.21 a.m. Kel and I just got back from our morning walk. Okay, I know that probably every single person in the world already knows this information, but I'm gonna share this because I have recently started doing this and I swear it has changed everything. Like I have been in the worst mental state for honestly the whole year. Like I shouldn't laugh over it. It's a coping mechanism, don't worry about it. But Cal and I have started going on morning walks every single morning and it is the best thing ever. It gets me ready for the day. We get to talk and hang out and it kind of feels like we're just walking to work because we both obviously work from home. It's a little hop girl walk moment. So if you need something to up your morning routine or you've been thinking about going for a walk in the morning, definitely do it. I swear it changes everything, but it is a little bit later now than what it usually is when we get back from our walk. Cal had a client call at 7 a.m. this morning and we normally go for our walk around 7.30 so the day is off to a little bit of a later start but that's okay because it's still gonna be a good day. First thing I need to do is do my journal. I have finally, finally gotten back into journaling. I swear in 2021 I was so good at journaling like every morning and every night without fail I would do it and probably even up until about March this year I was good and then I took literally about a four month break but it's okay because I've finally gotten back into it this is my journal that I use it is five dollars from Kmart and it comes in this pink color and also comes in a blue color as well this is not sponsored. I just really love this I think this is the third or fourth one of these that I've had but basically what I do every morning me just exposing my whole entire life <laughs> pause to read if you want to know about everything <laughs> but it's just a plain journal every morning I fill out the left side and then at night I fill out the right side I just write the date that it's the morning I write down a bunch of things that I'm grateful for three things that I have to get done today kind of like today's top three and then I write a bunch of affirmations so that is what I'm going to do now let me know if you want me to film an updated morning routine video I don't think I filmed one since mid last year and as well as going for a morning walk now I feel like I've gotten a good morning routine I swear morning routines are the best things ever they just get you all ready for the day as a routine normally does. But if you've just clicked on this video and you haven't subscribed, you should definitely subscribe. One, because we're basically best friends at this point, but also so you don't miss any future uploads. But let's do this journal together and get started on the day because I have a lot to get done. I made an electronic to-do list last night. I used to be really into doing to-do lists just on my phone, but recently I've really been liking writing them down and manually ticking things off. So I got this new notepad. This is also from Kmart. I think this was $2. I remember scanning it at self-checkout and being like, are you serious? I should have got more than one, but I'm quickly gonna transfer the to-do list that's in my phone into the notebook. Okay, I've already done some stuff, so I can tick that off. I've done that, I've done that, I've done that. Look at that, five out of 15. That's a third, a third of the to-do list done already. Guys, we are killing it. Um, anyway, I think what I wanna do first is actually tidy my room because I find it hard to concentrate and work in a space that's messy. And I wanna say I'm normally pretty good at keeping my area tidy, but all of the washing was done over the weekend and this is where it's at now. It's just laying on my floor, needing to be put away and there's even more clothes behind that crate on the ground as well so let's do that next I am posting a YouTube video tonight but I already proof watched the vlog this morning and exported it and uploaded it so I still have to do the tags and description and like get it ready to post I have to make the thumbnail as well but at least it's proof watched and uploaded because sometimes you can have so many issues with uploading videos if you're a creator I'm sure you'll understand so now that that's done I did it this morning while Kel had his client meeting I feel like I can justify cleaning my room <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Actually, first, I have these bikinis that I've been meaning to show you guys. They are so cute, and I haven't put them away because I want to do a try-on haul for you guys. Even though it's the middle of winter, okay? I don't care. I'm prepping for hot girl summer now. Because you know what happens every single year? It comes to summer. I get invited to the beach by Cal because he's like my only friend. But Cal and I go to the beach, and I'm not prepared. Like, I don't have bathers. So I am ready literally like five months in advance. Okay, I'm going to put you on my tripod just here. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I filmed this entire haul yesterday. 
and absolutely hated how the footage came out. The lighting was so weird. I used my ring light and it was just changing colors. It was just not the vibe. So this is round two the next day of this try on haul. So every single piece that I'm going to be showing you guys is from Cupshe. They have the cutest bikinis at the moment. I can't get over it. This is the first one. I think this one is my favorite to be honest. I think the colors are so cute. What I love about this top is that it obviously ties here in the middle and then has this halter tie up the top but you can change this to tie in the middle here and wear this as a boob tube and then the bottoms have these ties up on the side and you can wear them high waisted or you could wear them low waisted if you wanted as well and they are definitely a bit more on the revealing side but I absolutely love the pattern on these this set I think gives off the ultimate Polly Pocket vibes like I feel like I had this outfit for my Polly Pocket growing up this top ties in the middle here but then it also has a clip on the back where you can clip it together and then you can also adjust the straps as well to the tightness that you need and what I think is good about this set as well is that the bottoms are high-waisted and they have a bit more coverage at the back so these are perfect if you have like a family event or you just don't want to show as much skin but they're still so freaking cute okay so this set is a bit different to all of the other ones this top actually just pulls over the top it doesn't connect at the back or anything like that it does have this really cool detailing at the side though and I think the colors on the front are so fun so this one has these matching bottoms that are just plain purple and like the other pair that I showed you at the start they could sit up here or they could sit more low waisted these ones do have a bit more coverage at the back compared to like the first pair that I showed you but what's really good about cup sheet is that you can buy their tops and bottoms separate so if you're a different size in the tops and the bottoms you don't have to worry about getting a set that's the same size and then on top of that all of their pieces do run from extra small to 4xl I love the pattern on this set so much it's just a bunch of summer fruits which I feel like is such a vibe and then the top on this one has this circle in the middle which I feel like is such a fun detail one thing that's different about this one though is that it does crisscross at the back and then just tie up here it doesn't tie at the top as well and these bottoms are a low-rise fit but they do give a lot of coverage at the back and I just think the pattern is so cute I can't get over it okay the colors on this set are giving me summer in Europe even though it is winter in Australia and it literally just started raining outside but similar to the last bikini this one doesn't have as much support it just ties here but you can tighten the straps at the back so it does sit quite nicely and the bottoms are low rise and similar to the ones I showed you before but they do have this detail on the side which I feel like makes the piece a little bit different and kind of adds to it okay I absolutely love how this set sits I'm typically not a big fan of high-waisted anymore but I love the way this has the V going down that's cut out and it has these ties on the side which are a cute detail as well and then the top is so flattering and gives so much support it ties up at the back around the neck and then also under the boob as well okay and last but not least we have this pink set I think this is actually my favorite and what my go-to will be I love the bottoms on these because you can wear them kind of high-waisted but you could also pull them down and wear them low-waisted as well and same with the back they have a fair bit of coverage but you can make it more or less and I think the top is so flattering it has this hot pink circle in the middle which is such a cool detail and then it crosses over at the back and then ties in the middle so it has a lot of support Support. and I just think it gives off the ultimate Barbie vibes okay that is every single piece that I have to show you in this cup she try on haul if you guys want a twin I will have every single piece linked below also they were kind enough to give me a discount code so if you guys do want to get anything off their site not even just swimwear they also do accessories and vacation dresses you can use my discount code it is bethg15 for 15 percent off thank you cup for sponsoring this part of the video let's get back to the vlog yesterday not today. <laughs> hey Google, play Harry Styles.
just made myself a morning snack. So I have a peppermint tea, I have some popcorn, and then a mandarin. <laughs> this mandarin fell apart when I was peeling it. I'm never gonna be one of those people who can unpeel it. No, not unpeel. Who can peel it in one go and have all of the skin still attached. I'm like, no, I can't. I just can't be that person. I can't even keep the mandarin intact. Anyway, I have finished tidying my room. I feel so much better. Oh my God, I even vacuumed. Now the space just feels so fresh, so clean. I feel like I can actually get into the zone. So I'm going to do my Instagram post now. I usually use the app feed preview to plan my feed and all of my photos, but because I took a break off of Instagram last week, I actually don't have any photos planned in the app. This is what the app looks like, and that's the last photo that I've posted, but usually it would have a bunch more there that I've kind of played around with and put in order that I would post. I do know what photo I'm going to post, though I just haven't edited it, so it's on my computer. I'm gonna airdrop it to my phone, and then I use the app Lightroom to edit my photos. I don't really do a lot in terms of editing anymore. I mostly just play around with the exposure, the contrast, and then I turn the colors up a bit. I basically just make it look a bit brighter. So that's what I'm going to do. I literally haven't posted on Instagram in maybe two weeks, which I know doesn't sound like a big deal, but because I am a micro-influencer content creator, I usually post on Instagram multiple times a week. So it feels kind of weird. Also, popcorn is such a good snack. Don't sleep on it. Guys, I just wanted to edit the photo and it's 11.44 a.m. I have been seeing so many angel numbers recently. I saw 11.11 this morning. I saw 11.33 this morning, 11.44. Yes, I've been looking at screens a lot today. <laughs> but just in general, I've been seeing angel numbers more and I did not see them for so long when I was going through a bit of a rough time last month and the month before. And now I keep seeing them. I'm like... Is everything turning around? I keep seeing 1111 or 111 or 333 a lot. Sometimes 444, sometimes 222, but mostly those other ones. What does it mean? What does it mean? Hopefully it's a good thing. I mean, all angel numbers are good, right? <laughs> I'll take what I can get. I'll take what I can get. Anyway, I need to edit these photos. Hey Google, play the music. Okay, I just finished my Instagram post. I forgot to show you guys. I put these two new prints up on my wall last night. I am so obsessed with them. They are so cute. Cal literally just printed them from his computer, but I still think they look really good. I think I'm in my redecorating era. Like I just want to put new prints up and bring a new vibe in here. I think it's because I spend so much time in this room every single day. So I want to spice it up and change it. And the colors on the prints just bring the happiest vibes. And there's a vibe that I want in here. So I think I'm gonna look up some more and print off some more this week but for now I really need to do the tags and description for my YouTube video that usually only takes me like 10 to 15 minutes but I am so tired I'm literally so tired and it's only 25 past 12 but I'm going to do this now I'm gonna watch the video on YouTube just to make sure that it was all okay when it uploaded because one time when I first started YouTube I uploaded this video and I'd already watched it when I finished editing it so I was like yeah it's all fine it's all good I uploaded uploaded it, didn't watch it, and then when it went live, I can't remember if I watched it or if someone reached out to me and was like, there's glitches all through the video. Something had happened when I'd uploaded it, so now I always watch my video before it goes live. It's not going live until 8 p.m., but I kind of just want to get this out of the way. So I'm going to do the tags and description, I'm going to watch it, and then I'm going to make the thumbnail. I think I've made thumbnails with you guys before, but I make them in Adobe InDesign. Cal made me this template in there which is just the size of a standard YouTube thumbnail. So I'm gonna make that as well. Usually what I do is I make it the best that I can and then Cal will come and fix it <laughs> because I'm not the best at InDesign. I'm not bad at it, but I know the basics, like the absolute basics. And it's a program that Cal is really familiar with. He's a graphic designer. So I wanna do all of that before lunch. And I reckon I'll have lunch about 1.15. So let's get it let's keep going i think i just need to have lunch and then i'll wake up and it will be all fine but i really want to get this done before lunch because i know i'm really probably not going to want to do it after lunch Okay, it is 
10 to 2, I just made some lunch. So I made this salad. It has lettuce, spinach, tomato, cucumber. Oh, I forgot to put carrot in it. I really can't be bothered going and grating carrot, but it tastes so good when it's in there. Anyway, it's meant to have carrot. It has red onion, tofu that's cooked in rosemary and thyme, I think. And then it has this Greek lemon dressing. I have made this salad so many times in my life. We had it every single day for lunch last week, I'm pretty sure. And there have been so many weeks this year where we've had this every single day. It's just so easy and it's so good. <laughs> Look at, oh, you can't see on my camera. You should see Dwight in the background <laughs> on the TV. <laughs> Guys, we just ate lunch and we were watching The Office, but I paused it because I am so tired. I have crashed and I know I can't have any more coffee because I won't sleep. So my theory is if I make a decaf, it'll be like a placebo effect, but I'm really craving something sweet. So Cal is trying to make a homemade caramel latte, but with decaf. I found this recipe online. It seems pretty straightforward. So hopefully we can do it. And by we, I mean Cal, and he's already doing it in the background. <laughs> also of all the frames to pause it on. <laughs> it says step one, combine milk and brown sugar in a saucepan over medium heat. Heat until frothy and close to simmering. Then you reduce the heat to low with skin caramel sauce and vanilla extract. And then you mix in the coffee. I mean, it looks all right. It's in a Christmas mug, so it kind of has to taste good because it's like the Christmas spirit. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, shit. oh my god, it's so hot. Oh, it tastes good. It tastes like Starbucks. It's really good. Do you like it? Pleasantly surprised. It's really, it burnt the shit out of my mouth. It you was didn't so even hot. blow it. Look at the stream. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, really <laughs> <over here. laughs> <Choo -choo. laughs> if you start a taste test, you gotta go. And as I went to sip it, you were like, one, burn your toe. <laughs> Guys, this is really good. I'll put the recipe below. Okay, it is four o'clock. I just finished getting ready for the gym. I am slowly getting back into the gym after taking basically all of July off because we were at the Grampians, then we're in Sydney, and then we had Splendor. And my body is definitely reflective of taking a month off and eating and doing whatever I want, which is obviously completely fine, but I really want to get back to where I was and then further hit my goals that I've set for the year. So that's what we're doing. I am only doing cardio today though because my neck has been giving me so much grief. I think it's out of place and I have an osteo appointment tomorrow, so I can't really do any weights until I've gone to my osteo appointment, but I have been trying to get in about 10,000 steps every day this month. I've never been a steps girl until this month and now I like have to get my steps in every single day. So I'm just gonna do 12, 3.30, and then maybe just a little bit of walking after that. And then hopefully by the end of this week, or the start of next, I can get back into my weight routine. I just haven't really been feeling myself. So I'm excited to get back into that. But I just put on this matching set that I got from Kmart. I love it so much. It's this corduroy ribbed kind of material and the color is so cute as well. I think they still have it. I'll link it below if they do. And then I just have my Brooks runners on as well. Oh my gosh, you know what I haven't updated you guys on? My ear. So if you're new here, my ear started ringing randomly about, oh my God, not the freaking like insane cleavage, like absolutely not. Um, My ear started ringing ringing constantly about a I want to say like a month and a half ago now and it came on pretty much out of nowhere it's definitely gotten better like it's less intense but it is still there so I basically don't wear my headphones anymore at all except for when I'm at the gym and I'm still using these ones that go in your ears but I really need to get some over the ear ones because I think that'll just be better long term but it's been a lot better like the ringing is so much less <laughs> intense because when it started it was dry driving me crazy, but it is still there, which is kind of annoying. But it could be related to my neck, so hopefully I find out tomorrow my osteo appointment because I've been trying everything out here. But anyway, let's go to the gym. Hopefully there's not too many people there. This is such a risky time to go, but I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping one out of the two treadmills is free. I 
realized that I didn't end out the vlog, so I thought I would end it out now. My room is absolutely trashed and I have red lipstick on because I was just taking some content pictures. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please let me know if you would like to see some more productive at home vlogs. I love having a balance of those and travel on my channel, but I'd love to hear what you guys like. Also, if you've watched this far and you haven't subscribed, you should definitely subscribe because we're basically best friends at this point. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!